You're a little bit worried in the price action to the upside in oil. Why? We're a little bit worried, absolutely. We, we think of the oil market at the moment uh, as a three-legged stool, and all three of these legs have provided a degree of uplift to prices. And one of those legs is your fundamental stool, mm -hmm. which is very definitely constructive at the moment. We've had the ongoing uh, relationship of OPEC and Russia in place, managing the supply side. We've got demand strong and rising. The second leg is our geopolitical landscape leg, and that's certainly been supportive. And the third leg, the most wobbly leg, as it were, is the positioning leg. And we've got this extreme position, uh, positioning rather in this speculative length, massive long position, non-existent short position, mm. which, which, which plays out in a, potentially for a very dangerous uh, retracement profile given the right catalyst because there's close to a billion barrels of speculative length out there um, that when it unwinds is going to cause the price to move down. If that's the case, what kind of catalyst are you looking for and what would that retracement look like in the price level? Well, that's the big challenge, and that's what we're, 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 we're constantly trying to look at. I think at the moment the most obvious one is going to be a seasonal dynamic of some sort as we move out of this cold winter period that we've had in the U.S. Um, that'll ease product demand a little bit, and as we move into the refinery maintenance period, that'll slow down a little bit of the crude demand. And that will might creep into the framework insofar as the hedge funds and the speculators that are holding this position might then be suffering a little bit of an opportunity cost to their position. It's not making them any new money, and they may start to get out. Where does it go? $62 a barrel. So that's an $8 fall from where we are today. In it's what, a in huge a Q1. Our Q1, our oil analysts in New York have got our fundamental valuation of crude at $62 for Q1. We've actually, interestingly, just revised it up. So we've revised up our forecast, but we remain bearish with respect to the current prices and the, and the forward prices.